So the third theme for February is um, flush of the flame brings life to the places of death. And it's funny because um, that is a word. Death is a word that many people fear. And it's realizing that it's not a physical death, although it can mean that in some scenarios, but it's a, a, a metaphorical death. There's parts of us that died off through our conditioning as children, through society, through our jobs, through friends, through family, things of that nature. There's parts of us that um, didn't, that we died, like parts of us fragmented and moved off into parts of our field. We're stagnant, okay? And we need to bring that breath and the heat of our bodies, our blood, and give life back to that. So what does that really mean? You know, I think of a beaver, where a beaver looks at a dam and goes, oh, wow, you know, we gotta create this, this foundation. And it, and it gets to work. And it's instinctual, it's not uh, conditioned to love or hate it, it just flows with it. Okay, so it recognizes where things need to stop and where things need to flow. Okay, so when we allow that flush of that flame, we really understand that the hunter inside of us, a really good hunter, doesn't just go out and kills everything. <laughs> the hunter knows the delicate balance between what needs to stay and what needs to be surrendered for the cycle of life, for family, for community, for, but does not take more than what is needed, okay? And again, it's another way of saying sustainability, right? What is sustainable for you? So that third week is really about remembering that deep warmth that uh, got you excited as kids and really linked you to your drive or your purpose or your desires as children. And that's gonna really come back in terms of like the flush of your face or you know, sitting by a warm fire and just getting that burst of life, right? We're bringing um, awareness to those places that almost died off within us. And with that comes with the reconciling of those emotions as well.